Hey, Leo. Welcome to your uh, March 1st through the 15th reading. Um, yeah, I'm excited for this one. Leo is my moon sign, so I may very well resonate with this. <laughs> okay, so let's get to it. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Leos. Sun, moon, and rising. What's going on? First of March through to the 15th of March, 2018. What do you guys talk to us about, Spirit? What's going on for the Leos, the big cats of the jungle, yeah? Leo. Leo. Okay. One more shuffle, and I'll cut the deck. For all you Leos out there, March 1st through the 15th, 2018. All right. Here we go. Overall energy is the Eight of Cups. All right, y'all, you're moving away from something. Something hasn't been fulfilling you. And you said, I'm done. I'm leaving now. Or at least if you haven't, if you haven't already started moving away, you're either contemplating it or you're planning on doing it. Okay, so you're contemplating it. Um, and in this depiction here, we have some spilt cups. Normally, in the in the uh, Rider Weight original Rider Weight deck, those cups are still standing. So at any moment, he can that person can come back to those cups. But in this depiction here, some of them are spilt. So some of you are kind of like, yeah, I'm done with that. That's just not going to work. Moving on. Okay, that's part of your overall energy here. What else? Ooh, the tower. There was a tower moment for you, Leo. Ah, what happened? Four of Pentacles and Temperance. So um, I feel like that tower moment had to do with something that you were holding on to for dear life, for prideful reasons. Mm -hmm. That pride, Leo, that pride. But ultimately, it's going to be in service of greater balance in your life with temperance here. Something was out of balance. There was something that was really, really out of balance here. And so the, the universe kind of had to step in and say, no, that's just not going to work anymore. You got to get that out of there. And so it happened. So what's going on in your story? We've got the Nine of Cups with the Seven of Cups. Hmm. Please excuse my pause here. I don't really read reversals, and the Nine of Cups came out reversed, but um, I'm trying to figure out if that was necessary, and I don't think it is. The Nine of Cups here with the Seven of Cups is like you're trying to figure out what all of this stuff around you is actually going to be fulfilling for you. And this is kind of part of why you're moving away, moving away from something. It's like Something is not really giving you the fulfillment that you thought it would or that you wanted. And so now the tower kind of helped you see that. Something sudden came around and helped you see that because you were just kind of holding on to it for prideful reasons, for materialistic reasons, for um, comfort reasons even could be. But the tower kind of shook things up and it made it so that you can't really hold on to that anymore. So now you're in a period where it's like, well, what do I do now? What's going to give me that fulfillment that I thought I had, that I thought I was going to get, or that I that I want? Okay. Moving forward, the Hermit with Eight of Wands. All right. So look, you're asking this question, what is going to give me that fulfillment? And introspection is going to give you that answer. Okay. Take this time to really dive deep and go within find the light within listen to yourself listen to the messages that come through to you in this moment of introspection all right that's going to give you the answers to your question that's going to help you understand what's going to fulfill you what you need to move forward towards um to to help you get that fulfillment you're looking for okay all right moving forward Oh, the high priestess. Yeah, your intuition. Your intuition is your best friend here with the world. 
okay, no, look, this is a major ending, Leo. I mean, whatever this is for you, I think this is really positive. It's like you're finally going after what you really wanted. I feel like some of you have been so stuck in this situation for so long and just holding on for dear life because it's what you knew, it's what you were familiar with, it's thought, you thought it was what you wanted, but then the tower came and shook things up so much that it's like, no, this can't be it. So now you're really, in some cases, you're feeling forced to walk away, but understand that it's for your best, it's for the best. It really is for the best. And you need to take this moment to really dive deep and listen to your intuition to find the answers to the questions you've been asking. All right, moving forward, we have the Queen of Wands. So you showed up here and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so yeah, I mean, going in, finding that passion within you, finding that magic within you really, reclaiming your, your magnetic nature, I mean, Leos are quite charismatic, quite magnetic, magnetic. But in this case, in this situation, it's like you're regaining your power, so to speak. Please don't get caught up on the gender. The gender has nothing to do with this here. This is just energy, okay? Um, and it's really talking about tapping into your inner feminine energy to help you attract that which you want. But before you can do that, you need to really take a take really good um, advantage of the hermit energy and going within to figure out, to take stock, to figure out what it is you want, what has led you to where you are right now. How can you avoid that in the future? How can you plant better seeds for the future for ultimately a better harvest? Yeah? And that all comes from the introspection and from reconnecting with your fiery, magnetic, magical side to you. Yeah? Moving forward, we have the fool. So yeah, you're totally embarking on a brand new journey, okay? Totally embarking on a brand new journey, coupled with the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, hello. That's a great combination right there. A brand new start materially. A brand new start, a brand new financial start I'm hearing. Also, this could be this, this very well could, could be surrounding business. You very much, you, I, yes, of course, you could have been in a job, Leo, and that job just sucked. You hated it. It was unfulfilling. It was just, I mean, you, you had the boss from hell. You had employees from hell. You had coworkers from hell. It was not fulfilling for you. And something happened and the tower just kind of came around and like, suddenly illuminated all this stuff for you. Maybe you didn't even realize how unhappy you were in this job until the tower moment showed up. And now you're at a point where it's like all of a sudden you don't know where you're going, but you know you got to get out of there. And this is all saying, if it's, this has something to do with the job, it's saying you, you've got a brand new start coming because this introspection is going to give you the answers you've been looking for that's going to put you in the position to get that job that you want, to replace it with something that is more fulfilling, okay? And again, it doesn't have to be a job, but that's part of what I'm getting here. This is a general reading. This is for a lot of different people. Take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't. But apply that to anything. There's a brand new material start coming for you. Um, there's a brand new spirit, there's a brand new start on a spiritual level, on a, on a, on a, my, a macro level, but then on the micro level, you also have a brand new start materially, okay? And that's great. That's definitely something we want to see in a situation like this, right? I concur. <laughs> okay, finally in your story for the, aw, the Ten of Cups. My goodness, you know, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put this out there. My sun sign is Taurus. My rising sign is Virgo and my moon sign is Leo. And the 10 of cups has come up in all three of those readings. Okay, so if you have Taurus and Virgo in your chart, sun, moon, rising somewhere, I would advise that you read those. You watch those readings because they could resonate with you, okay? Or even if you just, if you vibe well with those signs, if something's piquing your interest about it, I feel like, I feel like it's gonna pique somebody's interest out there. Watch the video. See what happens. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, move on. But the Ten of Cups with the Knight of Wands. So you're gonna, you're, I mean, you're, you're gonna find. 
I really find you, I really think you're going to find some sort of information. You're going to come across some sort of answer that's really going to light a fire under your ass to get you moving towards this 10 of cups that you want. And it's going to be different this time because you're going to, you're going to see so much more about the situation. And even, even in like going in, going, doing this deep introspection and reclaiming your, your magnetic queen of wands power, you're going to see so much more. And it's going to be so different than what it was before. Like you're just going to move forward with such a passion and an understanding that's really going to make this new transition, this new start. Um, really beneficial, a strong start, powerful for you. So that started out a little bit rocky, but Leo, this is really good. I really think this is very, very, very good for you. First half of March. All right, there it is. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again for the end of March. Yeah, take care. Bye.